In this video clip, we are going to explain to you how the Reserve Bank can influence the size of the liquidity deficit of the banks. They can use it, they can influence it by using open market operations or tax and loan accounts or intervention in the foreign exchange market. What is important is to keep in mind that when money is with the Reserve Bank, that money is not available to the banks to lend out. So it's not part of the economy. When money is with the banks, banks can use that cash to create loans. It forms part of the economy. So when money is transferred or cash is transferred to the central bank, to the reserve bank, that creates a liquidity deficit for the banks. So I want you to keep that in mind when we look at these different instruments that can be used to influence the size of the liquidity deficit of the banks. Now the first instrument that the banks have or that the Reserve Bank has available to influence the size of the liquidity deficit is open market operations. Now the Reserve Bank can sell securities in the open market. There are securities that they can sell. There are different ones that they can use. They can use Reserve Bank debentures, which are issued by the Reserve Bank themselves. They can use government bonds. They can use treasury bills. They can use foreign exchange. There are different kinds of securities that they can use. But in all cases, when the Reserve Bank sells securities in the open market, it will mean that money, in other words, rands, will be transferred to the Reserve Bank. So that money will flow out of the economy and therefore the money market deficit will increase. Banks will have less money available, the money market deficit increases. Tax and loan accounts is another instrument that the Reserve Bank can use in order to influence the size of the liquidity deficit. Now, a tax and a loan account is an account that the government holds with the commercial banks. Now, the government also holds accounts with the Reserve Bank. And all that will happen now is that cash will be transferred from the government's account with the commercial banks to the Reserve Bank. Therefore, the money will flow away from the banks and that will mean that the money market deficit will increase. If maybe at the beginning of the month when the banks will need lots of cash and the Reserve Bank feels that it wants to provide more cash to the banks, they can just transfer money from the government's account with them, with the Reserve Bank, to the government accounts with the commercial banks and that will decrease the size of the money market deficit or the liquidity deficit of the banks. So in this case money flows to the banks and the money market deficit decreases. Now the Reserve Bank can also sell foreign exchange in the open market. What is important to remember here is that foreign exchange is not regarded as money in South Africa. So if it's dollars or pounds, you can't go into a shop and use that to buy something. Only rands count as money in South Africa. Foreign exchange is really similar to any other kind of asset. It can be changed into rands and then you can use it to buy something, but you can't use the foreign exchange yourself. Right, so if the Reserve Bank sells foreign exchange to the banks, it will mean that foreign exchange will flow from the Reserve Bank to the banking system, money will flow away from the banking system, and therefore the money market deficit will increase. There will be less cash available to the banks. If the Reserve Bank buys foreign exchange from the banks, it will mean that money will flow to the banking system and therefore the money market deficit will decrease. Right, 
But usually the Reserve Bank will not want to decrease the amount of foreign exchange they have available. So usually when they want to sell foreign exchange, they will use foreign exchange swaps. Now in this case, in the first leg, the Reserve Bank will sell the foreign exchange to the banking system and the money market deficits will increase just as previously. The banking system can, while the foreign exchange belongs to them, use that funds to invest it in the foreign markets and earn interest. They can do with it whatever they want. But there is going to be a second leg to this transaction. When the foreign exchange is going to flow back to the reserve bank, so the foreign exchange is not going to remain with the banking system. It's going to flow back to the Reserve Bank. The Reserve Bank is going to give the RANDs, the money, back to the banking system. And therefore, the money market deficit will then once again decrease. So these are the three or, or the different ways in which the central bank or the Reserve Bank can influence the size of the liquidity deficit of the banks. They can use straightforward open market operations where they sell different kinds of securities to the banks. They can use the tax and loan accounts or they can use intervention in the foreign exchange markets where they usually do it by means of foreign exchange swaps to ensure that the reserve bank foreign exchange reserves um, does not decrease.